Hey everyone, so I'm going to do a tutorial on how to download the expense tracker on iOS. So I don't have an iPhone, but I have my iPad and it will act exactly in the same way. So the apps that you will need are Google Drive and Safari. Um, I think it may be helpful to have Chrome, but um, you don't actually need Chrome for this. So what you will need to do is open Safari and go to my website and then download the free expense and tracker and it will open automatically in Drive. And what you have to do is click the three dots under the expense tracker, make a copy and only for the expense tracker, not the form. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna generate a copy in your Drive, like so. So sometimes only the tracker shows up but all you have to do is refresh and then the tracker form will show up shortly after. So what's going to happen is I'm going to click through to the expense tracker form. And this is the issue that everyone's having right now. And I think it is literally a bug because this is this thing you own is actually yours and you don't need permission to access it. But I think it's because it's a bug on iOS. So what you what you can do is you can just press done, exit out of that and then click the three dots on here and then copy link. So you copy the link and then you go back to Safari and open a new tab. Then you paste and go. And as you can tell, you do have access to this because you own it. Um, so this is what you can edit. And you can edit the categories here, but you can't actually submit anything into this because it's the, um, it's the form that you edit. So to access the form that you can submit stuff, go to the three dots and then go preview and then you can type in your stuff. So you have to be careful here. You have to make sure that you put the date in terms of like the date, the month, and then the year. So today is the 25th of August, 2020. And then I bought a jacket today, $70. And then you put it into shopping and then press submit. And then that expense has been recorded. So then if you go back to drive and then you select expense tracker, then it shows up. And then that is linked as well here. So that's a tutorial on how to access the form and you don't need permission. So even when you click back on it again, it says you still need permission, but if you were to open this again in Safari or even Chrome, you do have access to it. This is how um, this is how you would add it to your home screen. You'd open this and then go to three dots to the preview. And then you go to more actions. And then you just scroll down to add to home screen and you press add and then that's it and you're good to go.